Hello YouTube, so Marauders here and well I have here an Asus VivoTab Note 8 8 inch Windows 8 tablet so it's running the Windows 8 and it's running a Intel Bay Trail Atom processor now the nice thing about this thing is that it has a pen but we're not gonna talk too much about this thing today and I just wanted to point out is that while as good as this VivoTap Note 8 is they are just like the Dell Venue Pro 8 it doesn't have a HDMI out so there doesn't have video out there's no video port on it and just so happens that I managed to come by a USB to HDMI dongle so this is by J5 Create and let's see how well it works now before we get started I'd like to point out one thing I uh, they they have this in both uh, USB 2 and USB 3 version so I mean forward thinking I decided to get a USB 3 one so which supports higher resolution but unfortunately it seems like I forgot about one thing because it's USB 3 this longer seems to be drawing much more power than the tablets can provide so in uh, afterwards during the testing you see that either I have to use uh, different I had to use some different connectors and well I may also have to resort to some unorthodox method of powering this actual uh, dongle but so note if you are thinking of getting a, a HDMI dongle I think you are better off getting if you are if you are going to use it specifically for all these Atom tablets I think you are you are better off getting a USB 2.1 because the USB 2.1 should have a low should being the keyword here should have a lower power requirement than a USB 3.1 so be aware of that so now on the first try with the USB to HDMI dongle we are going to use the ASUS VivoTap VivoTap Note 8 and as I mentioned just now, the interesting thing here is this normal USB to go cable will not work with the dongle. It's it's I have a feeling it's very likely a current issue because while this doesn't work, this thing which is which doesn't have a cable and is more of a shorter connection does work so it's very likely, very likely due to current because this be, not being a cable it's able to deliver current at a faster rate than the higher rate than the cable so let me just plug the HDMI in then I shall plug it into the Asus there was a blink and boom we got it now the first thing you realize is that it's not actually extending it's actually duplicating this is exactly like what we've seen with the ASUS W4 which is that if I try to even project it to be duplicate it doesn't work Windows doesn't want to allow you to, doesn't allow you to do that so I can go in, I'm going into the Windows settings itself I'm going to set to duplicate I'm going to click apply and hey it actually was working and well then again maybe not so as you can see the screen is basically rotated the tablet itself is displaying at an ultra low resolution it's not going to work there's definitely you can't you can't get it to work that way so with a USB HDMI 
you are not going to be able to duplicate it. I is it a driver issue? Most likely. But it's definitely not happening. I, you can't get it to be duplicated. Let's try and go into the Intel drivers instead. So I'm going to go inside the Intel drivers. I'm going to bring over the camera a bit so you can see it. So I'm going to go inside the Intel drivers. Then if you look at the Intel drivers, it actually says now, I'm going to try and aim the camera. It actually says that there's only a built-in display, which is correct, because the uh, the new video the new video out is actually through the HDMI. It's technically another video card. It's not the same Intel card. So, again, there's nothing much we can do about it here. So, nothing is going to help us try and, to try and duplicate it. So that's the first issue. Okay, so now from a resolution point of view, if you look at screen resolution, the second screen right now is displaying 1360 by 768 because that's what my TV supports. Yeah, it's a sucky TV. So let's play video and see. Now, the audio, of course, is now being channeled through the HDMI, the HDMI, uh, the TV itself. So the audio is coming through the HDMI. Now, with a keyboard, I will now send the viewer to the other side. Send the player to the other side. So we can now you can see that there's there's actually some very slight jerking happening. It's not fully smooth, but it's a, it's a bit jarring to see. It's hard to catch. So you yeah, see just how the uh, the slow frame issues. It's probably hard to notice on on when I'm kept recording it like this, but there's definitely some frame rate issues, which is surprising because when uh, when I was testing it using Miracast, there isn't that much of an you know, with Miracast while there's lagging there isn't that much jerking whereas with this HDMI you see jerking instead of lagging so it is a very strange thing so other than that there isn't much else to, to say First of all, because you can't do a duplicate, so you have to control it using hopefully a keyboard, a uh, Bluetooth keyboard, or you can use the wireless keyboard and the the touch keyboard and the touch mouse that is that I've mentioned before in the Acer W4 video. Other than that, everything is working just. So I can still go to YouTube. And aside from that, it does everything else seems to be okay. So what we have we seen is that we have seen that there is some there is some frame frame issues. That's one, that's the first problem. And then the second the second problem is that the Sony Action Camera AS one hundred. 
The second problem is that you can't since you can't duplicate the the desktop, there's actually going to be some issues with you controlling the 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 extended screen. So as to whether or not that as to whether or not that is an issue for you, it all depends on how you're going how you intend to use the extra HDMI port. If you are just going to use it to give a presentation to someone to extend your desktop, then you'll be fine. But of course, if you are planning to try and use it to do a duplicate, a mirror of your desktop onto the TV, that might be a, a problem. Maybe there might be a future driver update, but um, that's what I've said like a few months ago when the Acer W4 came out and I don't think that still works yet. So as a final summary, the USB to HDMI will work for for your tablets, but uh, there are a few issues. The first is the screen doesn't you can't duplicate a desktop. That seems to be a common problem. The second is they will you still can't use it's not the tablet isn't fast enough to transmit a real time real time display so there are lags there will be lag a display lag and of course uh, the third, third note would be uh, if you're gonna use it with a low powered USB device try not to get a USB 3 version of a HDMI dongle because all these issues where I had to actually plug a battery in just to get the dongle to work it's most likely cause of the fact that this is a USB 3 device and that's it now for I'm actually also testing out the mirror cast mirror cast capabilities of the tablets so do subscribe and like to the chat like this video and so you can get informed when uh, when that when I get that video ready okay so, see you all around.